All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and review Clean Master Boost, an antivirus app for Android. As you can see, I'm already installing it right now. This app here has 500 million downloads, and it looks like it's 4.7 stars out of 5 in its rating. So it's a pretty good rating. It says here, the number one junk cleaner and antivirus app with phone boost, battery saver, and app manager. So it, it's a, so it cleans the junk on your phone. It's an antivirus app and also boosts it, battery saver, and app manager all in once. Man, that's all in one right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the reviews here. So it's easy to use. It is a very efficient app. It does what the description says it does, and it's easy to use. Useful, just think about it and all the good you could do. This could be so useful for so many. There is one bad review here. Too many ads. Way too many notifications. Too many advertisements. Way too intrusive for a system tool. So we'll take a look at it here in a bit and see if that all that is true. I think it installed now. Let's go ahead and open it. It's starting up now. All right. Let's go ahead and hit start here. All right. Here we are. Storage, we're using 97% of storage. I already knew that. We're using a lot of memory on the, on my phone, 75%. All right, so here we have four options. Junk files, phone boost, antivirus, and battery saver. Let's start off with the junk files feature here. Now we got to, just like every other app that we reviewed on a phone, you got to grant permissions. So let's go ahead and hit, hit the grant button here. I'm going to hit allow for the purpose of this review. And right now it's scanning. All right, it looks like it can clean up to 637 megabytes. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the clean junk button here. So it looks like there's more left, but it wants permission. Let's hit continue and see what it wants to do here. So we gotta hit we gotta give it permissions. What's cool that it takes you to the actual permission screen here. You gotta scroll all the way down, find it. Uh Clean Master, I think it's called, right? Uh because I also have another one that we reviewed, Super Cleaner Light, which I actually like. I think it's Clean Master. And we're going to turn that on. Okay. And there we are. Now it's going to do it. It will automatically go to the app and start to clean it out. It's cleaning it right now. Here are the ads popping up now. All right. Now it's uh, asking us to 43 battery draining apps and in. Enable Charge Master. Let's go ahead and clean there, see what it does. Cool, it's got a little spaceship there. Enable Charge Master and clean 43 battery draining apps. Nice. And here we have an ad, the first ad that we came across. QuickBook Self Employed. So you just got to hit back and ignore the app. I mean, the uh, ad. We're not going to rate it for now because we're reviewing it. So, junk files that, that work pretty well. Cool. Let's go ahead and try the phone boost. I think we just did that right now, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. No. So the CPU on my phone is overheating, supposedly. Let's hit the fix button and see what that does. Let's go ahead and hit cool down and see if it cools down. It dropped three degrees. Not bad. Not bad. And here's another ad. So we're going to hit back. Man, that's a lot of ads already. <laughs> two or, two ads in a row is already bad enough for me. All right, let's go ahead and hit the boost button here. And it looks like it got freed. Some memory on my phone. Hmm. Yeah, look, it went down. It was like at 70-something. Now it's 64%. Wow, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the antivirus. Now, what we want to take a look at here is if you can scan and if you can update. All right, so it says here at risk. 
Other apps may steal the history compromising your privacy. This should be clean. So we're going to hit the clean button and see what that does. Secure your privacy. Install CM Locker. What is CM Locker? Let's hit install and see what that is. I'm going to hit install and try it out. And of course, it's another program. That might have been just an ad right there. And now we got to go back to our app. I'm just going to hit the back button. All right. We're going to we're just going to ignore that cuz that's just another um that's another app that it wants us to find. And here we are in another ad. I think looks like an ad. Let's go back. Let's go back to antivirus here. Hmm. So we got an ad here. It says successfully finish your first scan. Um, another ad. Now, can we update this? Remember how I said we need to be able to update it? And I don't see an update button anywhere, guys. We're going to go back. They have a rescan option, but they don't have an update option. Keep in mind, every day new viruses come out, you need to be able to update this. Maybe it does it on its own. If you guys know if it does it on its own or not, let me know. If you guys already have experience with this app, I will be looking into it. But let me know, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the battery saver. It's analyzing power usage. Keep in mind, I am using a uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Uh, we're going to hit optimize here and see what that does. Hibernating apps. Hmm, I always wondered how to do that. Half of these apps I don't even use. But every time I uninstall them, guys, they get installed automatically back in there. All right. Nine minutes extended just by doing that and here we are we have here we have another app okay so it looks like we have more stuff here we have a tools section here let's take a look at the tools notification cleaner that's just for the notifications we already use CPU cooler charge master we didn't we use that just a while ago okay so here you can change things around to save a battery on your phone and turn that off turn that off Let's see what that does lock screen news don't miss a thing ready reading easily messages and headlines on lock screen I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into that guys because there might be some personal stuff that comes up and I really can't share that with the world here on YouTube but you have the option to use that Safe browsing. That might be like an incognito thing. I don't see nothing come up. Hmm. When I hit that, the phone turns black. I lose connection to my uh, screen mirroring here. So that's kind of weird. It's so private that I can't even see it on my computer, guys. That's crazy. All right, so let's look at. We are. I think we already used the used the app manager, didn't we? No, we haven't used the app manager. So from here, you can just select whatever app you want to uninstall and then hit the uninstall button. And I think I have a couple here that I want to uninstall. Let's see, Telegram. I want to uninstall. Okay. Okay. And that's how it works, guys. Weapon Builder. That one's pretty cool. I'm going to leave that there for now. All right. So that's how you uninstall. Space Cleaner. Let's take a look at that. Device is getting full. It's scanning right now to see how much I can clear up. We already cleared up some of it. I'm going to hit the Clean button here. 
and that got freed. It's still scanning all the other stuff. Videos, you can do that. So here it's going to show everything you got. And it's going to it's going to help you see everything on your phone. So that's pretty cool. We're going to go back. Let's take a look at the uh I really don't want to go into photo cleaner guys cuz I don't want to share any of the my photos with you guys. Oh, what the heck, we'll go in there. We have some cool photos. But anyway, it shows here duplicate photos, so you can actually get rid of duplicate photos. That's good blurry photos. So sometimes we do have a lot of duplicate photos and that way you can go in here and get rid of them this way. So the photo cleaner can be very very useful for you guys. So we're going to go back. We have more here. I swipe. What is that? Let's take a look. Grab the power of the galaxy. This looks like an ad for me. We're going to hit start, but I think it's going to. Hmm. Clean master. So we're going to test this out real quick. Triggered by swiping the yellow areas. Oh, check that out, guys. That's pretty cool. Wow. Oh, but there's an ad up there. This looks cool, but guess what? Up here there's ads. No, that's not cool. Ah. Nah, screw that, man. That's not... I'm not going to use that. <laughs> there's ads all over it. Okay, so here are ads with privacy issues. Let's see how that works. We're going to protect. Uh, you can set up a pin for them. Okay, so that's how that works. We have free call here. Free call function. I don't know how that works. So that's another app that it wants you to install. So that's basically an ad. So we're just going to go back. And we have uh, news here. Cool, so it's got a news function here. It tells you, I guess, some news going on around the world. And then this last one is uh, your account. You can sign up. And here you can look at all this here. Oh, there's an update button. Remember the update button I was looking for? There it is. Hmm. It just goes back to the app. Okay. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for uh, Clean Master Boost and Antivirus. I got to say, it has a lot of functions, man. It took a while to go through the whole app, as you could tell. But. Uh, it's got a lot of functions. It works very well. But like I said, it does have a lot of ads. Ads for all kinds of stuff, guys. It has a lot of ads. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of my next reviews. Have a good one.